What's going on guys and welcome back to part 13 of building Netflix app from scratch using Swift 5 in UIKit. In this part, we're going to make sure that tapping on any title anywhere inside the app is going to work because currently it's only working from the home view controller. So without further ado, let's just dive in and open Xcode. Alright, so let me just pump the font just a little bit so that we can see more clearly and let me just close that. And basically before actually starting implementing that event handler or basically tapping handler i just need to change something regarding the how the app works as you can see here basically we don't actually fetch any new movie or any new title and pass that to our header view over here basically we're just viewing the static image that we have passed earlier inside the assets folder so let me change that basically i'm just going to define a new variable here that is going to a private variable and let me just call that random selected movie or basically a random trending movie and that is going to be type title all right and basically i just need to make that an optional for now so it can actually be nil for now and we're just going to change that later all right and the second thing that we need to do actually uh we're gonna change the scope of this header view as you can see here basically it's only visible inside the view that load because it's just a local variable so we're gonna make that change so let me just type in here private header view and that is going to be of type hero header view and that is going to be optional as well so it can actually be nil and right now uh i just need to say var yeah i forgot var actually and it's not constant because that is going to change just just over here so let me just delete this and now we have a reference to header view and outside the view load method and now i'm just going to create a new function and that function is going to be called configure hero header view and inside that function i just need to make a new get request from the server so that i can pull some trending movies and assign one randomly to that random trending movie variable so let me just do that so api caller share get trending movies and over here i'm just going to get the result and as usual we're just going to switch on the result and basically we're just going to implement the success case and also the failure case so let me just do that so case success i'm just going to get an array of titles and basically i'm just going to set that to uh, my uh, random right so random trending movie and that is going to be to one of those titles and that is going to be get randomly and over here i just need to have a weak reference of self so that i can do that easily all right so basically let me just implement the failure case as well so let error and basically i'm just going to print the error all right so error dot localized description and yeah that is a dot not a comma so a localized description so basically i just made my api call for the server and i retrieved back some titles over here and i got one randomly and i set that to my random trending movie title of type title so right now i just need a function so that i can configure the header that is being displayed in the hero view so let me just do that so let me just open the hero header view over here and basically i just need to implement one more function so basically it's going to be public because i'm just going to access that from outside so configure with model and basically that is going to be uh i believe something like um view model over here so yeah title view model all right and over here i just need to access this hero image view so um let me just copy that uh, again yeah, i forgot the word funk and let me just copy that from you know, maybe the title uh, table view cell i'm just going to copy that url because i'm actually going to pass in the poster url as well and that is going to be a constant that's not going to change whatsoever so let me just go back to hero header view again i got my url from the title table view cell so hero header view i'm just going to you know add this um url over here and now i'm just going to access this so hero image view dot 
sd set image and that is going to be set with a url and for this is that is going to be nil for the completion and basically that's it i believe that is going to work so let me just hit build and run and let me see what do i get so far all right and nothing changed over here i guess i forgot actually to call this method so what do i have here so yeah we have just set that to a random um trending movie element and over here i'm just going to say optional self header view dot configure and that is going to be configured with the title view model over here basically we're just going to pass in the same um random element that we have chosen so let me just do that over here so let select the title and that is going to be titles all right so titles dot random element and basically i'm just going to reuse that over here so i don't generate a new random element all right so basically let me grab this title so basically this selected title i'm just going to pass that in here so selected title dot um original title or just empty th string for now and basically i'm just going to do the same here so selected title dot um poster path or an empty string for now so i believe that should be working yes we have no errors and actually i forgot to call this method from here so configure header view or hero header view and let me just tell build and run and let me see what do i get so far all right so basically uh we are now generating random element each time we open the app let me just confirm that let me close the app let me reopen it one more time and basically yes each time we open the app we have new random element generated so right now let's just start working on actually making each title can be tapped anywhere because as you know it's only tapped within the home view controller over here so now let's just get this thing to work so let me just go to the upcoming view controller and let me implement a new function over here so basically i'm just going to implement table this select row at and basically i'm just going to reference that table one more time over here and say deselect row at index path and set the animation to true for now it doesn't really matter but basically i just need to have a reference to the title that i have just pressed on so title that is going to be titles index path dot row and now i have the title already so let me just say guard let title name and that is going to be title dot original title or the title dot original name else i'm just going to return so basically i have the title name that i have just pressed on so what do i need to do right now basically i'm just going to say api color dot shared dot get movie and i'm just going to pass in the title name over here and for the result i'm just going to switch on the result as well so case success basically i have a video element so let video element and the other one is going to be case failure and i'm just going to get an error which i'm going to be printing just normal so error dot localized description and over here i just need to make a new um a new instance basically for the uh, preview controller which I'm, I'm going to actually be pushing um inside the navigation controller so uh, i'm just going to say let vc and that is going to be um title preview view controller and over here i'm just going to configure that with the title view model that i have over here so basically for the title i can just pass in the title name and for the youtube video i'm just going to get the video element and for the title overview i have the title over here and i can say just here um overview and i believe that's it all right so basically i just need to push the view controller over here uh, basically that is that needs to be unwrapped or you know i can just add uh, like an empty string over here and that should take the error away all right so um let me just say here weak self 
all right and over here i'm just going to say self which is going to be an optional so i'm going to say navigation controller dot push view controller and that is going to be my vc over here and i'm going to say true let me just hit build and run and let me see i just need to go to the coming soon and press on any uh, movie over here let's just say sun and that is going to take me directly to one of those but i have an error over here which is basically yeah i know how to fix that so let me just go really quick over here and basically we just need to add that to a dispatch queue.main.async i always forget that so basically let me just take that cut and paste that over here build and run one more time and i believe that is going to work definitely is going to work and uh, yeah basically that is working fine so the upcoming is already done so let's just go to the top search really quick and i believe it's going to be really the same so i can actually copy that function over here so table view cell i believe that is going to be exactly the same so let me just go down in here and um, inside the delegate methods of the table let me just paste that one more time and uh, i believe that is going to work yeah there is no error whatsoever so let me just hit build and run one more time and go to top search spider-man and yeah that is basically working fine all right so now we have the search results view controller remaining and that is going to be just a little bit tricky because we're not just accessing the title within the navigation controller tabs over here we're just navigating we're just accessing the title from another uh, place so we're just going to use protocols and delegates so let me just go to the search results view controller over here and over here i'm just going to create a new protocol so protocol and let me just call that uh, maybe search results view controller delegate and that is going to be of type any object and inside of here i'm just going to create a new function so func and that is going to be called search results view controller all right so let me just do this so search results view controller did tab item and that is going to take basically view model all right so and that is going to be titled preview view model all right so basically over here i just need to create the public week var and that is going to be delegate and that is going to be of the same type of the protocol over here and that's going to be optional because i will not be initializing that right away and basically i just need to go down here inside my collection view and i'm just going to say collection view did select item i just need to have the collection view instance over here and i'm going to say deselect item at index path and that is going to be true and inside of that i'm just going to reference my delegate and i'm going to say search result did tap item and basically i'm just going to pass in this item so basically i just need to have the title over here so um let title and that's going to be titles all right index path dot row basically i have my title over here um i can pass in the name as well so um or i already you know you can just say title dot original title and i can pretty much say that is going to be working without actually the need of um accessing the original name as well and for the youtube video i just need to have this video element so basically before actually saying the de delegate search result did tab item i just need to grab the video element first and basically i can just go to the upcoming and basically i can just copy this from here i believe um yeah basically it's going to be the api color function so let me just grab that function over here because basically we're just going to be doing the same thing so um all right so api color share dot get movie and basically i'm just going to get the name and that name is going to be from the title all right so original title or empty string for now and i'm pretty sure that is going to be working all right so let's see over here um dispatch q vc from the title preview view controller basically i just need to have the same thing over and over here so let's just 
say let title name and that is going to be equals to this all right and instead i can just pass in the title name over here title name that is going to be working um i believe yeah same thing over and over and uh, i can say well i can just copy this function over here all right so what do i have um basically in case of the success i have the video elements so basically i can just remove the dispatch queue over here because that is going to be done from the search view controller so instead i'm just going to say delegate all right so i just need a weak self as well so self all right so basically self dot delegate search results view controller that is going to say did tap item and i'm going to say the item that was just tapped is just going to be the title with that name and the video element i just got that video element over here and for the title overview same thing over and over so basically title dot overview and i can just pass an empty string from there basically this is completely done from the search results view controller now we just need to go to the search view controller over here and just swipe up until we see this um, initialization for the search results view controller basically we're not making a global variable so that we can access that search results view controller anywhere else but there's another cool way that we can actually do this which is basically the search controller over here basically we have the results controller which is basically the same thing so um basically i just need to say results controller dot delegate and that is going to be self and once i'm done with that i can actually um say that i'm going to conform to the search results um view controller delegate over here and down there i can just say search results did tab item and basically i have my view model over here so the thing i'm just going to be need to do is actually say navigation controller dot push and i'm just going to access this which is going to be from here so let vc and that is going to be title preview view controller i'm just going to configure that with the view model that I have and then I'm just going to pass in the view controller and say true for the animation. Let me just hit build and run and let me confirm that this is working. So let me just hit Spider-Man and I have Spider-Man over here. Let me say that is going to be working. Yeah, basically we just fell with the same error over and over again. So let me just say dispatch q.main.async and inside of here I'm just going to add that right in here. I believe that is going to be working. So yeah, we just need to mention that is going to be self. So weak self in and inside of here I'm just going to say self optional dot build and run and pretty much that is going to be working I promise you so spider-man and yes that is working as well so that's it for this tutorial if you liked what you just saw please hit that like button because it's going to help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm and it's going to show me that you really care about the videos that I make and also consider subscribing to my channel that would definitely means a lot to me so once again that was armor please have a good day and stay safe